Discovering morning, discovering sun, discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too. Discovering me and discovering you. We're little people with great big plans. Little people, we've got helping hands. Little people, we come from one to ten. Little people, and we'll always be friends. Discovering Michael and his friend Maggie. Discovering Lion and Sonja Lee. Discovering Sarah and her twin Eddie. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering you and discovering me. Discovering Maggie, who loves to lead and tries to do so thoughtfully. Discovering Maggie and you and me. Trading Places. Farmer Jed loves the animals on his farm, and the animals love him. Good morning, Cal. Here's your breakfast. <coughs> You're very welcome. Uh, excuse me? Did I hear you say... <coughs> That's the strangest moo I've ever heard. <coughs> Did you say something? <coughs> well now, this is different. <coughs> Hello, Maggie speaking. Maggie, it's Farmer Jed. There's something you have to hear. <coughs> well, you, you just can't hear it, you have to see it. <coughs> what I mean is... You want us to come over? <laughs> you bet. Right away. What in the world? Hi, Maggie. Well, you can see things on the farm are sort of topsy-turvy. I'll say. How long has it been like this? Ever since breakfast. Can't figure why. <laughs> Afraid my chicken's a bit rusty. He says at first they just wanted to have fun, but now they've spent so much time being each other, they've forgotten who they are. In that case, maybe if we teach them who they are, I, I mean who they were, I mean... <coughs> no, that's a cow. <coughs> that's a sheep. <coughs> Oh, that's not even the right voice. Hey, maybe if we help them find their voices, they'll remember who they were. Or are. Oh, you know what I mean. Maggie, I think that's a very good idea. I know a song that might help.
Goodbye. Thank you, Maggie. Thank you, everyone. Bye. I'm Farmer Jed. I have a farm. You're very welcome, cow. And you too, sheep. And you, horse. And so Farmer Jed and the animals learned, you are happiest when you are yourself. Discovering Sonia, who's gentle and true. She's kind to people and animals too. Discovering Sonia and me and you. Happy birthday to Zoo. <laughs> Birthdays are special days. And sometimes they're filled with special surprises. Really? Wow, that's great! What'd they say? The giraffe said, the tiger said, the panda said, that the lion said, he heard from the seal, that the monkey told him... <gasps> it's the zookeeper's birthday! They want to surprise him with a present! That's a great idea! What kind of present? A banana? Fish? Nice! A basket of peanuts! Bamboo shoots! And tree leaves! Those are wonderful! But perhaps he'd like a cake, too? They love the idea! Well, I'm going to lunch. See you later! Goodbye! Don't hurry back! Now's our chance to get his cake. Come on, before he gets back! And so the animals and all their friends went to get a birthday cake to surprise the zookeeper. But when they got to the bakery, they got a surprise. The baker was all out of cakes. Oh, dear. Then they got another surprise. Uh, he, he always stops by after lunch for dessert. Well, he'll be here any minute. Any minute? Oh, no. Can you bake him a cake before he gets here? Uh, I, I think so. We can all help. Well, as I always say, the cake bakes quicker with helping hands. Uh, and pause. We must have jumped around too much. Poor zookeeper. His present is flat as a pancake. Or flat as a cookie. Uh-oh. Hurry, here he comes. <laughs> Hello? for your birthday. Uh -huh. We helped. But just a little. <laughs> a banana cookie. Thank you. Well, that's wonderful. A fish cookie. Oh, my, would you look... Well, that's very nice. Thank you all. You've made this the... the best...
best birthday ever. And so the animals learn that the best presents of all are the ones that come from the heart. Discovering Katie and Freddy too. They believe there's nothing that they can't do. Discovering Katie and me and you. Faster than a speeding frog. Every day is a day of discovery. It doesn't matter if you're a little person or a frog. Good morning, Eddie. Fine day for a game of leapfrog. Good morning, Patrick. And good morning to you, Freddy. <laughs> Walter. Hi, Eddie. Good morning, Jack. Morning, Eddie. Whoa! Wow, what a bounce. Almost as high as you, Freddy. Sure wish I could hop like that all the time. <laughs> Walter, could I borrow two of these? A spring? Sure thing. Look, Freddy! Now I can bounce higher than you! <laughs> oh. Wow! Over there! Would you look at that? Like a frog! Have you ever seen a frog bounce that high? Not me! No way! Just watch out that you don't get stuck! <laughs> What's up here to get stuck in? Clouds! Uh-oh! My springs! Oh no! He gonna get down. Fire department, Eddie's stuck on a cloud. We're on our way. Ah! Oh, I can't reach. Oh. Whoa! The ladder's too short. gonna do now I think Freddy wants to help huh y you want my yo-yo okay that's a good idea Freddy give it your best hop <laughs> Aw, you can do it, Freddy. Just believe that your bounce is as big as your love for your friend. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, what a bounce! Ooh. And what a great way to get down! Uh -huh. I'm so glad you're all right. Thanks, everybody, for helping me. And thanks to you, Freddy, most of all. And so Eddie learned that he could jump as high as a frog. <laughs> and Freddy learned that with love, a frog can jump higher than the clouds. Hey, wait a minute now. What happened to all those springs we had around here? I don't know, Jack, but I'm sure they'll turn up somewhere. Discovering Sarah, who sometimes blue, has her friends to help her through. Discovering 
Sarah Lynn at the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting Sarah's Stupendous Circus. Sometimes there is nothing more fun than being in the spotlight of your very own circus. Wouldn't it be great to be in the big circus? Come on! Have we found a horse for the show? Not yet. Well, we'll have to do the best we can without one. Come on, Sarah, you'll miss the show. Oh, no, I won't. She was right behind us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, presenting Smiley the Clown and the fabulous Flying Lion. <laughs> I mean, horse? <laughs> Good job. How'd you find one so quickly? Well, I didn't. I. Uh, <laughs> hmm. No, Lucky. Over here. This way. Oh my! Watch your step. Watch your step. I got you. Oh. before the show's over. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Lucky, they didn't even see us. But they did. And you were wonderful. <laughs> they did? We were? Oh, Lucky, isn't being in the show the most fun of all? <laughs> or is it? I think I just thought of something even more fun. Sarah! Sarah, you're missing the show! Ladies and gentlemen! That sounds like Sarah! Presenting the most wonderful performers around, my friends! Us? Come on, join the show! And so Sarah found something even more fun than being in the spotlight. Sharing the spotlight with her friends. Discovering Michael, clever as can be. He loves to make things magically. Discovering Michael's Magical Night Sometimes you can discover the most magical things in the most ordinary places. Uh, hi, Michael. Hello, everyone. 
Hello, zookeeper. Are we too late to visit the zoo? Are the animals still awake? Are they? Just look. They've been playing like this all day. Didn't even take their naps. It's past their bedtime, and if they don't go to sleep... At... Whoa! I don't go to sleep. They need their rest. And so do I! Maybe we could help the animals go to sleep. Yes, and I have an idea how. Lullaby, close your eyes, go to sleep, little monkey. <laughs> well, so much for rocking him to sleep. Hey, maybe we can yawn him to sleep. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Huh? Is it morning yet? It isn't even night yet. Wait a minute. That's it. Let's take the animals on the zoo train and find the night. When the stars come out, then they'll go to sleep. The zoo train? Oh, no, no, no. Of all the things the animals like to do, that's their favorite. They'll never go to sleep. I think I have an idea. That's what I was afraid of. Everyone always has fun on the zoo train. How much farther till we find the night? Pretty soon now. What's he doing? I'm not really sure. Everyone went to sleep. And so to all of us. Sweet dreams. Discovering morning. Discovering sun. Discovering there's room for everyone. Discovering horses and giraffes too Discovering me and discovering you We're little people with great big plans Little people we've got helping hands Little people we count from one to ten friend Maggie Discovering Lion and Sonja Lee Discovering Sarah and her twin Eddie 